positive on three song. Yeah. I'm like, what do you mean by positive on three song? He was like, ah, there's nothing there now. This song is just a normal thing, girls. We do it just for fun. I'm like, yay. Am I in this world? What is going on? That's it. That is an now marine site. <laughs> If I want it, gotta make to myself a promise. I won't quit, keep going till I. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be a story time. I promised you guys in my last video that I'm going to film this video for you guys. We are between how I got cheated on by my supposed boyfriend. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the video is here. So let's sit tight and listen to the story. So I'm going to be doing my makeup. You guys know how it is now. Why I tell you guys how it happened. So what happened was that guys, I hope my microphone is fine. So this is going to be a very simple makeup. Just simple. This guy, you know how it happens now. A guy you see you and like you and I'm going straight with my make um my foundation guys. Um, the camera is making it seem like this is too bright, but trust me guys, this is my color. I don't know what's doing with my the camera. I'm going to see like this is so bright. It's not. So guys, um you know how it goes now. A guy will see you and ask you out. So this guy asks me out. This supposed person I'm talking about now. When he asks me out, I was skeptical about it okay so i was like because i was already coming out from a rough relationship and and it's been like two years before this particular person i'm talking about so i just decided not to be in a relationship two years so about two years so my last relationship was like two years ago so i just said to be done with that i just focus on myself then this guy met I'm talking about just he met me and he started asking me out and I'm like, he kept on pushing it. You know how it goes for guys now. So I decided to okay, give it a try. Let's just accept it, guys. But it was so fishy because it was so fishy because um the guy kept on begging, okay. So now you're asking me out that you want to have in your life i want to have in my life i can't do without you this is where his breath is exact breath um i was begging i want to have you in my life i want you to be with me you will do this, this. i think i accepted then the day we had our first date the day we went out for the date oh coming back to now he was shaping in some conversations okay so we're having some conversations so the way the, the direction the conversation was going was really really <clears throat> not it i was not in my head i was thinking ah, is it that because i've not been in a relationship like i've given myself a break for two years does it mean i'm not in this world what's happening what's going on is this the mindset guys are having now because he was asking questions like um what's your take on three song I'm like, what do you mean by what's the take on three song? Who is who who is doing three songs? I was like, ah, there's nothing there now. This song is just a normal thing, girls. We do it just for fun. I'm like, yay. Am I in this world? What is going on? Like, how would this guy be casually talking about three song with me? And then he was like, um, I did not want to know that how would I feel um dating a guy that is already dating to like being a say no, he said how do I see being a psychic? I'm like, I've never had this conversation with myself. I want to talk about this conversation with somebody else. And I was like, what do you, what's your take on being a psychic? I'm like, hey, I don't understand. What do you mean by being a psychic? Why would I even want to be a psychic? Okay, so when we were having that conversation, it wasn't coming as if he was throwing tips at me because we were just having a normal conversation about what's going on, what's your take on this things and but then that was a red flag that I totally ignored. Okay. So he, when he asked me that question, I'm like, ah, 
I cannot accept a uh, side chick, bro. What was that now? I was like, ah, but it's normal now. That's what girls do now. What was that? And I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. Me, I just don't like it. So he now said, ah, guys are now marrying side side chicks now. And I am like, yay. Zoho Emanuela, are you in this world? I'm like, I don't know. No. Are you serious? So that was a conversation we had, and it was a very work conversation because I just I just wanted to opt out of the conversation because it wasn't making sense and I didn't want to start arguing. Then he now chipped in and that okay, he has it. Okay, you've asked me out, and I know how I told you I'm not interested, and you stopped the car and was begging me. Please you need me in your life. Ah, scam, big scam. Like you need me in my in your life. You need it, my kind of girl in your life. This and that one down, begging, begging. He now chipped in and was like, so he has a girlfriend and but that he he's breaking up with the girl. I'm like, okay, go and break up with the girl before you ask me. I don't understand. I was so confused. You did. I'm like, what is wrong with this guy? This guy is no man at all. Like, why are you telling me all these things? Go and break up with the girl before you come and meet him. He was saying, um, okay, that he can to break up with the girl. It's sad that he feels that the girl is using Kayamata on him. You don't know if you know about Kayamata. That's like the guy was so wrong. And he feels the girl is using Kayamata on him. I don't know what's wrong with him. If I want to break up with the girl, she will not break up with the girl. I was like, are you serious? And I've read a lot about this Kayamata story. So I was like, ah, I need to go and pray for this boy. He will need deliverance. No, watch the canna. I was seriously praying for this guy, you guys. Okay, when he now dropped me off, I went to my house. I now digested all the conversations we had on the road. And then, okay, I missed something. I told him when he told me about the girl, I was like, please try and break up with this girl. I don't know what you're talking about. Just break up with her before. What are we doing? What, why are you asking me out if you've not actually broken up with your girl? I was like, he's going to do it. He's going to do it. I was like, okay. He's going to drop me out in, in my house now. And I went home that night. I cabashed for this guy. I prayed for him in case if there's any kind of matter that is holding him or anything. So I prayed 12 a.m. in the morning. I prayed for this boy. So, cause long story short, one a day I decided to finally visit him in his house. So I came to the to his house and we were talking. I did then I decided to go to the bedroom. That was like after he saying he's going to break up with the girl that he has finally broken up with the girl. So I went to his room. I went to his bathroom to eat myself. Okay. And I was watching a lady's pants hanging in his bedroom. Like the pants is on the shower. You know the shower head now? Hanging there. I'm like, ah, I don't understand. You know, if there's a guy that respects you, even if you're doing something shady, but so long as you know that if your girlfriend is coming or if a girl you respect is coming, you're meant to go and hide that pants. You get? So that pants was just there. Ah. I know me, I don't need to talk. I don't, I'm not a big talk. But when I came out, I was like, how far? Whose pants is there? Then I was expecting him to say something like, okay, it's my junior sister that came around. And he, this guy just said, did you touch it? Did you touch the pant? Did you move it? I'm like, how? I don't understand. I'm like, I did not touch the pant. He said, okay, don't, don't touch it. Just leave it there. You leave it there. It's nothing. It's nothing. Just leave it. Don't move it, please. Hey! You be CEO, but when they check, they see the hole. Just the play, my dear. The play, oh, just the play. <laughs> and loyalty, I did not quarrel, I did not move it to my head. I'm like, hey, this is a movie playing out in my life for me. You know, the first thing he put in my head was that this was a normal thing that guy, girls are not doing. Like, girls are not doing side chick and all this. So, in my head, I'm like, am I playing? Am I, is a movie playing out in my head, or is this really, really happening? Like, What's going on? It was like a movie. The whole thing was like a movie. I left the pants. I didn't actually talk. Then, and I went home. And I dropped me off to my house. I went home. We were cool. We were talking. Then there was um, our third date. Yeah, it was a third date. We had a third date. We now stepped out to go to one of the finest eatery in town. And he now told me that that was, I mean, that was on a Saturday. Thursday was his birthday. Okay. So Thursday was his birthday. And you will not tell Thursday his birthday. You know, when somebody tells, ah, Thursday is my birthday, definitely they're expecting something from you, a gift. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to give him something on Thursday. So we finished talking. Then when we are going home, that same girl called, you get the same number called. I don't know the number, I didn't care, I didn't check, but I know from the way he was talking to the girl, it was the same girl. So the girl called, I was like, where are you? And he puts it on loudspeaker, like using car BT, Bluetooth. He was talking with car Bluetooth. 
it was like the girl was like oh i'm seeing makeup in my foundation since guys are we going to finish this makeup today <laughs> okay i'm coming back let me just uh -huh. so the girl was like where are you i was like eh, I'll, I'll call you back i'll call you back i'm on the road i'm going home i'm telling you that again i'm going home ha i still pretend i said no i was not hearing what was going on that guy was just a douchebag seriously then um i was like who is this he said it's his sister his junior sister i'm like oh okay i didn't i didn't argue with we now he now dropped me in my house and i went back to my house then he went to his own house and so that i told you it was his birthday after this was on a saturday tuesday no that was tuesday yeah so tuesday tuesday it's ready to go to a boutique and get one of the things from him for him i took my one of my aunties because i've told i've already gisted her about this new guy and she was see so she was excited about meeting the guy friend i was talking about so as we were in the boutique getting things now my supposed boyfriend <laughs> my supposed boyfriend now entered with another lady guys i don't even know how i felt that day i saw them i don't know my feeling i can't even say what my feeling was when i saw them like i was shocked and when he opened to enter the girl first entered so he was the last person entering when he saw me he was kind of shocked that he, he saw me but then he didn't react much he just entered inside and said then he touched me and said how far oh i have seen shege <laughs> that, <Shege, laughs> that shege has made me tough yeah. do you understand like i've seen so i'm still you know i'm still What's growing going? you feel me so there's still more shaking shaking in front i don't even know if i should talk i'm here trying to get something so somebody's entering with another girl so i kept calm i kept calm you know he said alpha i didn't, I didn't reply in my bed i said fine i think i said fine so my mood changed my auntie noticed i was like how far why are you found and i told her the guy I told you that his bed is on Thursday, that he's asking me out. Look at him with another girl. My aunt just turned. And she's from Ghana. She's a Ghanaian. She's not in Nigeria. Just turned. You could see all over, written all over her face that she was ready to launch at that guy. Boy, she was just staring. And then she was not looking at the girl. You know, if it's another classic girl, like a girl that is beautiful, maybe I could just be like, okay, now. Nah. Maybe I know rich now. Nah. I know rich. But there was nothing to write on about. It was nothing to write on about. I know I'm, I'm not demeaning any person. I'm not insulting any person. I'm just telling you guys like the girl was not it. She was not it. So what do guys even want? What do guys even want? I was pissed because I was generally on my own. I didn't want to date anybody. I know how this boy begged me. Kept on begging. How they use Kayamata Hula. How do you use Kayamata Hula? How he wants to break up and trust me. The girl he was talking about, the other girl, because I saw in one of their pictures, they were together. She was a classic girl. She was a very beautiful girl, okay? So, but then the girl she he came into to that boutique with was nothing to write them about. It was not that babe. It was not that babe because that babe was very fine. It was not that babe. This one that looks like just a random person, you get? Now, I'm not angry now. I, I actually expected something from his movement. I will, like there was no respect in that thing there was no respect because uh -uh. i heard him when he saw me to maybe move out or go outside and tell the way let's go out or okay because really certain i think i just stopped and everything i was doing i was like let's go we left so i was expecting him to follow me immediately and maybe talk to me outside or call me Do you know this guy did not call me the next day that was on a wednesday his birthday was on Thursday. He didn't call me to tell me anything. As I walked out with my auntie, he didn't call me to tell me anything. Thursday, his birthday, he now stupidly chatted me in the night. I was like, hey, today is my birthday. He did not tell me happy birthday. Ah. I'm like, I ignored him. I didn't insult him. I just kept my cool. I didn't say anything. I just ignored the chat. Then he stopped talking to me. Because he, his visa was already available for him to go back to his base. So I just ignored him. I didn't reply that message. He didn't call me. He just sent one a WhatsApp message. I ignored him. 
But I think he went back because from his I didn't block him on WhatsApp. I was seeing his status. He was posting his outside Obudo Yibo pictures now. Really, 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 really face felt very, very bad. I felt very bad. Guys, I don't know if I don't because I don't really know how to tell stories, but I don't know if I explained this thing very, very well because I'm hundred percent sure that he did not expect to see me in that boutique. And he was so ashamed of himself. That was why he didn't come after me or even let me not even say anything because I don't know just know. All I can say is that it was a very worse experience. I think I've never had such experience before. Nobody has ever cheated on me and I have never cheated on anybody. Like you don't have that cheating episode. I've never had it. So this guy was really, really and this was just the Holy Spirit, guys. You can't tell me anything. So it was just the Holy Spirit that just didn't want me to put all my full hope or think too much on this dishpa because it just happened so fast. It just happened so fast. After he went back, I, I refused to call him because to me, I don't know, I always maintain calmness. I'm not that crazy type of person, okay? So I just, after that day, he did not call me on phone, even give any explanation. He doesn't owe me any explanation. So it's not after a month or two months, he now called me on phone. I didn't even know who was calling me. He now called to tell me that he's, guys, I don't think I can come to talk and do this. I'll be right back. He now called me, guys, to apologize and, no, he didn't even call to apologize. I just got a call a day and somebody was like, how far you forgotten me? What happened? I'm like, who is this? Say, okay, he's this person, called his name. And then he said, I was like, oh, so you just remembered me after like how many months? He said, uh, it's not like that, that why am I acting like there's anything much there? That's why right if it was his sister. Ew. Ew. Fine girl like me. Why you do me like this? Fine girl like me. So he, you know. He wants to come and start defending himself, giving me those crazy, stupid um, excuses. It was not like, I do I even know if it was his sister? I'm like, okay, no problem. It's not like I needed an explanation. Why is, what, what is wrong with you? Why are you calling me out of the blue? Any problem? That, no, it's just that he traveled out since he just came back now. That, that's why he wants to see me. That where am I? I'm like, he didn't call to apologize. Sorry, you didn't call to apologize. You don't owe me any apology. Fine, I'm good. I'm not complaining. I just thank the Holy Spirit for revealing it to me. ASAP before I even entered. Because you already know that God knew that I wanted to give myself that break. Then out of nowhere, you decided to come into my life to fuck me up. Guys. It was not good. It was not funny. I don't know if I'm telling this to a very but I maybe mean, I'm sounding all cool because it has passed. It's just something that have happened and has passed. But I know it was not funny. So this yeye boy kept on calling me. Yes, he's a yeye boy. Kept on calling me that please um he wants to see me. That what will it take for him to see me? I shouldn't mention anything. That we could take for him to come and see me. That please, he just wants to set his eye on me. I will set my eyes on you. That's what he's saying. I want to set my eyes on you. I'm like, sorry. I don't know. I'm not coming out. I'm not seeing you. Like, after that day, I've not seen that guy. And he has been pestering. He has been on my DM. I think I'm going to block him. The last time he called me, he now chatted me. I was like, how far I want to see him. Like, if you chat me one more time, I will block you forever and delete your number. You know, respected in seven step one. And then this thing can be very, very tricky. This thing can spoil your makeup. So it's gone. Then it's not. I don't need any mask. I'm not doing it. So, guys, this is it. That was how I was calmed. And I thank God I did not even fall deep. Mm -mm. The Holy Spirit actually helped me out from that kind of guy with that kind of mindset because he was saying stuff like, eh, that how is he going to trust me when I'm in Nigeria and he's outside the country and he does the things that are happening in Nigeria that like he cannot 
I'm like, okay, you knew you cannot. So what was all those? I love you. I cannot do it that you. Kayamata Z, Kayamata A, Kayamata B. Yeah, yeah, the smell. And I prayed. Of all this, what pained me the most was that I prayed for this guy. I prayed 12 a.m. in the morning, praying for your yeah, 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 cook up story. Ah, so men ask come. Good girl, no they pay. Good girl, no they pay because I was actually a good girl. And I'm still a good girl, but I'm coming out of that good girl syndrome. Good girl, no they pay. I'm coming out of that good girl syndrome because we just yeah, yeah, you. If you are still doing, if you are still listening to all the stories you have been told, because that was fucked up. Guys, I seen this makeup. Oh my goodness. So guys, we have come to the end of this um video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked it. Okay, so do not forget to do the thing. You know, like this video and subscribe. Mm -hmm. uh, I might kill myself. No, I'm not gonna kill myself over anybody. Nah. I'm not gonna kill myself over anybody. So guys, this is the story, the juicy story I said I was going to just you guys about. Hope you enjoyed it. Drop your comments. What do you think? What's your experience? Have you had this kind of guy in your life that will come and give you so much stories? None is true. Like everything. Oh, I wish. I'm an evil girl. Yeah. All of them cook and boost stories. I mean, cook and boost story. How this is cook and boost story. So guys, can you see that makeup? 30 minutes. And it's given. How can someone leave this beauty? See beauty now. Mwa go do wo popo. Shiga, shiga. I might say, guys. Well, I'm coming to the end of this video. Bye bye.